Hi, uh, my name is Joe. Um, I'm originally from California, so the two marathons I've done are, are California marathons. I've done the Huntington Beach in the San Francisco, both in 336. Um, and I recently just did the Marin Headlands 50 miler, which was my first ultra. An ultra is anything longer than your typical 26.2, but the most common distances are 50 kilometers, 50 miles, 100 kilometers, and 100 miles. Um, and so I was able to run the 50 miler in 10 hours and 53 minutes. So under 11 hours, which I was very happy. Uh, doing the ultra was a lot different than the marathon running. Um, you just have to shift your mental mind frame about it your, and your mental outlook. You can't um, think you're going to run the whole thing, or at least I couldn't. You know, after the first 25 miles, I had to start walking the uphills. Um, where in a marathon, you always think about, you know, I have this time, I need to keep running this pace, these are my splits. Um, for me, in the 50 miler, it wasn't like that at all. It was much more just out running and you'd meet people and run with them for a while and you know the the time element wasn't as strict because the distance was so much longer. The training was very similar to a marathon um, except I would add another long day um, either immediately before or immediately after my typical long run so like today we went out and did 18 I would come back tomorrow and maybe do 18 or 20 again and so you, you teach your body to to recover very quickly and you're able to run when you're tired and you're sore because inevitably in the 50 miles you're going to be tired and sore towards the end. So you are doing a lot of running, your muscles are going to take a beating. You know, I was cramping and had to stop and stretch a few times so you really have to watch your nutrition um, in the ultra more so because the time frame is so much longer and if you run out of that glycogen along the way you're just gonna you're gonna totally bonk so um, chances of injury for me it's about staying focused because it was all trails so if you lose focus on the trails you can trip and fall and hurt yourself real easy you know there were a couple people who actually had to be disqualified because they fell and got hurt bad enough that they had to go to the hospital I'm hoping to run the Pinhoti 100 November 6th and 7th, um, but if that doesn't happen, I'm planning a 500-mile multi-day um, charity run from Washington, D.C. to Toronto um, next February. Thanks.